Alright, welcome back everybody. Uh, we're getting kind of used to this at this point, unfortunately, but we uh, ran into that issue with no storage space again. So, I think we're going to have to just simply get better about that. Uh, also, I know we just started. I mean, one sec, I'm sorry. Okay, there we go. Uh, we'll take all this stuff just to have it. And we don't need this hat. <sighs> this magic use is going to be the death of me. <sighs> it's kind of far away. Unfortunately, they uh, don't know how to use their knees, so this is <coughs> a relatively easy fight. We're going to get ambushed a couple of times. And, uh, we'll keep them fine. Is the bathhouse key. Mm, maybe not. We'll go back to the other side and check again. Yeah, this should be it. There we go. And this is storeroom. <coughs> I uh, just kind of thought about it right now. But not having access to enchant is <coughs> a little unfortunate. Not a huge deal, but it's always nice to have that. Uh, it's good to make money. It's good for, you know, the gear, obviously. All around, just a good thing to have that we don't have access to because we're all knights. This should have... Right. Secret door. There we go. Surely, we will one day find those chimes. Yeah, we're gonna have to kill him first. We don't have to engage these guys. Because they don't have knees. We can just uh, shoot him from 10 feet away. Cool. And I don't want to do the corners. Um, there's XP, there's things and stuff, but I just simply don't want to do it. So I'm not going to. Uh, if missing out on a couple of resists eventually is what does this in, so be it. I don't think that'll matter too much. I mean, everybody's hit points are pretty solid. Uh, there's some endurance here and there that makes it vary a little bit, but not horrible. Also, hope we're going the right way. I'm only about 50% sure. Also, I feel like there was a candle or something with like 5,000 gold in it somewhere around here. But, uh, I don't remember. Ah, found it. And the treasure room key. Perfect. Thunder Maze be an excellent find if we weren't, uh, you know, sword users, and we didn't, uh, you know, cheese the first part of the game like that. I wish I could remember, uh, I could check the book, but... I don't particularly want to. I feel like I feel like I remember here. There was some torch or something around here. 
I had like 5,000 gold in it. Nah, either which way. All the gold matters. Also, it doesn't look like the uh, followers are taking any of that, which is very nice. Okay, now before we leave this area, I don't think there's anything else we need from... Uh, let's make sure we have the pilgrimage before we leave Iron Fist. Just so we don't waste those extra days. So what are these things? Kind of want to Google it. Fireball does too much damage. There is something in here. I just simply don't know which one it is. Unless I'm just misremembering something. Um, I don't know. I uh, still have fly, which is nice. <coughs> we don't have the firepower just yet to do um, the other dungeon here right now. So we're going to have to come back for that one. Uh, for right now, I want to go get the shrine, and uh, yeah, I want to turn in this quest and get the shrine. Yes, and it is just in time. Perfect. Perfect. A large rat. Well, funny enough, I think we already killed all the rats. So, I guess that's kind of a non issue. Sell off some of this junk. Ring to sell, and that's pretty much it. There we go. And we're just gonna move that guy over. Just, uh. Just kinda sit him right there for right now. Let's go ahead and mess around with potions just a little bit. Got a haste. And another haste. Can make another haste. And that's the last haste we can make. Let's kind of make some blue ones. These haste potions are going to become important eventually. Uh, they're just not important yet. It's going to take a little while to get there. Next quest is well. The Devil's Outpost is going to be the most important one we do, but we just simply don't have the firepower yet. 
So we probably got to put that off for a little while. So I think the next thing on the list is going to be... Um, Oh, here we go. The abandoned temple northwest of town it used to be occupied with the Ba, but they moved out in a hurry one day last year. Yeah, they probably just got attacked by the spiders and things. Okay, well, at least now we know what the lore is. It used to be a Ba temple. So that's fun information. So, Blackshire, and we need to travel to the north. There's nothing here that we need. Except those. We might also go ahead and knock out the obelisk. Uh, oops. Wrong spell. Yeah, we might need to go ahead and knock out the obelisk too. That's where Bowmaster would be, but... Uh, that was the wrong shrine. Okay, let's consult the book. That might have been fire. Why did I write these down? Um, shops, locations. Central quest. Uh, they probably can be under major quests or the important ones. Here we go. Ah, uh, it was in the frozen highlands. That's my bad. This one is fire resist or something. Uh, we should have a save here. So, no, we do not want to do that. And since we're here, um, Yeah, I guess we're not in much of a rush right this second. So let's go to Paradise Valley for a little bit. Okay, gotta make this very, very fast. We're gonna have to tank one explosion, or maybe a couple. I guess we're gonna find out. That should maybe give us some decent look. Oops. That's good. That's fantastic. And, uh, 5d2 plus 4 plus 6, 4. Um, we're gonna replace this bow. And this one is just gonna get sold. And you get a belt too. Trash, 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 trash. That will. Should be a few more chests. Now we're going to go do some sketchy things. I hope we survive. There's one or two chests over here. We can't get the third one. Uh, we may, we'll get it at some point, because we're going to find a telekinesis spell. Ooh, solid boots. Um, you can take this one. Oh, shoot. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, now we just make a hasty retreat. We didn't find what we wanted. Still, uh, I don't think we found any artifacts yet. So unfortunate. And we needed to go to uh, Whitecap.
which is also the Frozen Highlands. It's the it's the same thing by any other name. We're not gonna attempt to fight those guys. Try, try, try. Oh man, we are getting destroyed right now. Maybe we should go ahead and do these towers. We're not quite strong enough is the problem. We're not horribly far from it, we're just not quite there. I think mist is probably going to be our next easiest thing to do. So we're done in New Sorpical for now, until way, way later. Uh, mist is going to be the next easiest thing, so I think that's what, that's what we should do next. Um, I guess we also should probably rest. I hate to burn an entire day, but... I kind of have to. I also don't think that we're going to actually get much of any use out of uh, the obelisk treasure except for the money. Ah, no wait, now we're. Here we go. Now we're a little bit more powerful. Okay, before we go in here. Let's uh let's get better at just things and stuff real fast. Since we're already here, let's pick up spear. And we're gonna get repair for everybody since we're already here. And then we are gonna be able to get bodybuilding right now. But that's in the works. That's a learning master. Learning master is going to be uh, important. And we should have enough for a little bit of merchant too. We need to get merchant to 12 apiece. Uh, I think 12 is the soft limit. After 12, it just gets less useful. So let's get spears across the board. There we go. And this guy should be repair. Nice. And sell a couple of things if we have anything worth selling. And then we go attack this uh, outpost. Whoa! That wasn't supposed to happen. right now. Yeah, so we're very appropriately leveled for this dungeon. It's not terribly hard. It's uh it's it's on par. Levels in this game are ah, just blue. Are a little bit skewed in a way. Uh, like we're level twenty three but that's not really how this works.
It all kind of depends on your skill points. I mean, it's... Oh, shoot. Always kill the ranged first. I can probably drop him. Ah, I need like one more arrow. There we go. If we can get them in melee combat, this is an easy win. There we go. Ah, he's fatigued. Well, I'll just have to stay fatigued. That's the uh, last door we want to go in. Weak. Same same thing. He's tired. Oh boy. And we broke something. Got one. Yeah, we're gonna have to probably leave here at some point uh, to go heal up. But I don't, I don't think that'd be such a big deal. This dungeon is pretty small, and we can just simply teleport out. Uh, the cheapest method of healing is just to sleep in the street, basically. So I think that's probably what we're gonna be doing. Our swords one's almost dead. Let's see if we just mop them up real quick. Blue again. Okay. We might be able to get through one more room if it's not too bad. Oh, sure enough, there's the captain. Let's leave. Chasing us. Yeah, the issue is if somebody's uh, out of combat for any reason, they don't receive XP. Shut up. <laughs> they don't receive XP for uh, kills and things. So we don't want the XP to get that skewed. Oh, this guy's not that bad. Okay, maybe he's a little bad. He's down. Some tenants. And a couple of monks. That's... that's fair. And more personality. Uh, that's everything here. So... This room, uh, nothing. Oh, I'm seeing a different room. You can have all these. The monk needs to go down first. It's always range, status effects, and action economy. Maybe not always in that order, but it's a, having some type of a game plan is important. Okay, we gotta push this button. Take that thing. And there we go. That is one of our quests completed. <laughs> That's silly. Magic is so grossly overpowered that you don't have to actually use tactics in this game until you just simply don't have magic. Also, I think it's going to be a good idea for us to get Disarm Trap. Even if it's just on one guy, I feel like that's likely to be a, just a solid move. We take so... 
Matrix lab key. That's strange. We take so much avoidable damage through it that it's probably going to be worth the investment. This skirmish, one more little fight, we grab some stuff, fight some back ads, we call that a day. Concentrate all the fire on this cat. Come on, Oz, don't go down. Nice. too close to a break point. He's the closest though, so he can get it. There we go. Uh, no one here. And there's a monk in here. Don't really know why he's in there, but that's where he lives. Dropped one. Nice. Uh... Broken gear, well, it's annoying, but it's not the, it's probably the least crippling thing that can happen to us besides just raw damage. Well, actually, I'd rather just a broken piece of gear than raw damage, but now we should, now we should be clear. And we don't have air, so, yeah. I think these guys get progressively easier the more we uh, fail that challenge. Oh. Don't die. Okay. Yeah, we have approximately one more go at this. <laughs> Speed and intensity is going to be our friend here. This is what's called an oof. Oh, he's still down. Oh boy. Um. I, this is the idea we're gonna have to go with, but we're just gonna wait around for a minute. that shield on, it'll only take him a few minutes to heal up. If we just get him back into the fight, and then we play smart, we'll be okay. Got two more minutes. Get up, please. <laughs> there. Now we have to play a little smart, and we're going to be okay. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's the one piece of gear we have. Uh, I can't risk the whole party. Unfortunately, you're just going to have to take that L. Yeah, see, so now he's down like 300 experience. This 
castle here is so finicky because I don't actually know how it works. Like, surely you have to step on all the thing. See? It's just... Why does it have to be that way? Why is, why is it doing that? Normally we would just use jump and cheese this entire puzzle. But we don't have that option this time. There we go. And now we're home free. Except for, uh... The traps that are about to end our lives. Oh, we can't even use this. Uh, oh well. Um, we can just teleport back to town. So this is likely to kill us. But there's no XP to be gained from this. So I'm going to call that okay and acceptable. They survive. Eek! Oh. Nice. It's a silly weapon, but okay. So now we're just gonna teleport back to town and get healed up. I was not expecting him to die, though. It's, uh, it's marginally useful, sure, but I'm not going to lug that thing around forever. Now, who needs endurance? Yeah, we would get the most benefit out of giving it to Zach. So he's going to get that. I forget what takes points away from though. Okay. Now if we can get a boat back to um, Iron Fist, that would be very nice. Uh, okay. Guess we're not gonna move it too fast, but it's alright. So I wanna say that is the damsel in distress which is the Paladin Advancement Quest. Uh, we're going to get some XP off of it, and it's kind of the reason we're doing it. Uh, because we have no Paladins, it doesn't do much of anything for us. Also, it's May, and that's Accuracy, which is an easy one to get. Reality is slowly setting in that we're going to be poor for most of this run. There we go. Now we have to do kill the dragon. There's no way we can take Long Feng with her hide right now. He's a, he's a pretty basic red dragon, but he's still a red dragon. Accuracy. Because we still have fly, we can go ahead and do this. And I don't think there's much else that we need to do here right now. Ah, oh, there is some.
Archers aren't too, too bad, but they are ranged, and that's never fun. Especially when they're just outside of our melee zone. Cool. There we go. That was a little bit more accurate. Awesome might. How did that happen? Hmm. Oh, it might have been from the uh, endurance. That that'll come out in the wash eventually. Ah, oh, yeah, I don't want your. I don't want your quest. Master merchant's gonna be the next thing up. So let's go ahead and burn another day. Yeah, we got, yeah, we got to burn a day. I don't think there's any quests here that we can really do. Let's just burn a day and then get Master Merchant. E, there's that disarm I was talking about. Uh, we'll give it to we'll give it to Zach. Six, eight, ten. Just so we're a little bit safer. Are learning. Yeah, we might be able to get Merchant 2. E. 20,000. Man, that hurts. But, uh, I think it's. I think it's this house. Um, let's do this one. Uh, seven with thirty. Okay. And yeah, so we're gonna have to do some leveling up. We would have saved a little bit of money, but I think we're gonna need a level up or two. Nope, just one. Merchant of seven, 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 and seven. That's going to save us a good bit of money in the long run. Uh, leveling up can get expensive and selling things for well below market value. It's never ideal. But there we go. Another master. So we're getting a lot more experience. Prices are going to be a lot better. And I guess the next thing this will be bodybuilding, but that's mildly low priority. June is next month. Let me make sure we are here on June 21st. Uh, so the next quest... I guess you have to go to Iron Fist. We don't really have much of a choice there, do we? Yeah, it's gotta be Iron Fist. That's up next. There's no easy way to get experience. Not at our level with our abilities. Ah, five more days. We are 
burning this clock. Five months in right now, and uh, I hate to say it, but we're, we're not behind schedule, we're just kind of on track. Which, the way I usually play, is behind schedule. Actually, can we even do this? I can't even beat the oozes. Yeah, we can't even beat the oozes, so... I think that's all just gonna have to get delayed. Magic is such a bad position to be in. Uh, oozes are immune to regular types of damage. You have to hit them with magic, and our bows. Yeah, it's not fantastic. We can, we can give it a shot if we can just avoid the oozes. But this still has the chance of being pretty dicey. So kind of like to avoid everything we don't need to fight. Ruffians aren't too bad. Just have to get to the end. Ow. Uh, this lever is on the far side. Oh, some plate armor. Sweet. Uh, I don't know that that's going to be very good for us, but there's a chance. Nope. Uh, nope. Nope. And absolutely not. Okay. Well, it's a, it's a fun find. It's just not actually any good for us. This is also the direction we're trying to go in. They're pretty easy. They're, um, they're around on par with skeletons-ish, give or take a little bit. This way, yes, we don't want to come this way. This is, um, no. This is where oozes live. And we're not trying to fight oozes. I'm not too proud to admit that we just can't really beat them. So I'd rather not even try. It would be a long, drawn out fight to even attempt to beat them. Whenever we have all magic weapons, they won't be an issue, though. If we had more money, we uh, would be able to get more magic gear even quicker but we don't so we can't I have no clue what that did Yep, no idea. Flute. I've explained the flute several times, but it's not actually worth anything. We'll, uh, we'll hang on to it for a little bit, but it's, it doesn't do anything. Okay, so this is going to open that door. I, uh, I think. Is 
So I think this dungeon is about half done. Hey. Oh, who's the repair guy? There we go. And this can go to you for that small bonus. But every bonus is a bonus, so we'll take whatever we can get. And then later on, we to sell it, so we're not actually losing money on it. funniest item I've ever found in the entire game was a club of dragon slaying. The club is that, you know, piece of crap you start the game with that I don't think anybody has ever used. Maybe somebody wound up using one by accident at some point, but it's it's like 1d3 plus nothing. It's worth one gold. It's just so awful. Okay. Action economy first, then status effects. All right. This is the wrong way. Unless there's something cool in that chest. <coughs> there might be more in this room. Nope, okay. Nice. And about a thousand gold. I'm not mad at that. I don't know how to open that. Ah, that might be the lever. These are the slight, slightly harder version of uh, ruffians. Yes. Helping bow. Orders from the Shadow Guild. Uh, okay, so we need that for new Sorbical. And a bunch of spell points. That's nothing. We should be getting close to the end of the dungeon, though. A bunch of oozes down in that pit, so we need to be very, very careful that we do not fall down there. Or, uh,. We could run into a lot of trouble very fast. Careful, careful. Careful, careful. Yeah, I think there's a chest or something down there, but it's so squarely not worth all that effort for it. I just don't want to do all that. Yep, the lever's on the other side. <clears throat> uh, I have no memory of this. I know we're close to the end. I do like this dungeon. It's it's short enough and it's simple. A little bit of a pucker factor there. E. It's a short, simple dungeon, and I appreciate that. The monsters are fun to fight. It's just a good dungeon. I don't, I don't like long, drawn-out dungeons or ones that are overly complicated or monsters that just simply aren't fun to fight. Uh, the worst offender is Castle Darkmoor. 
it just isn't fun. The monsters aren't hard. You know, they're not fun to fight. Uh, th there's nothing about it that's fun. It's long, not overly complicated uh, compared to, say, um, Alamos. But Alamos isn't bad if you just want to complete the dungeon, not, you know, full clear it. If you're just trying to complete it, it's as simple as running, but just run by every last little thing, and then, uh, touch a book and call it a day. I'm sorry. Uh, jump, jump up to the J bard, and then just p proceed. Uh, the touch a book thing, it's only kind of true. I'm sure that you can cheese that dungeon. It's dark mode we're talking about, with the Book of Liches. <clears throat> I'm sure you can cheese it with some jump spells. I, I just don't like it. Oh, zero on their initiative. Trash. More trash. Not trash. That would be fantastic if we didn't already have it. Nothing else we can do there. Do a lot of boots, though. Oh, what the? No idea what that was. Put him down. I think we're right above a bunch of oozes. Might just be clipping through the floor or something. Ah. Okay, the veteran. There's your boss mob. That's uh, the toughest thing in this dungeon besides the oozes. But it's just another breaking, basically. It's a souped up ruffian. But now, they're terrible AI. Let's just walk right by them. And we're gonna mess this up several times. Yeah. Yes. There's the artifact. I know somebody that can play the harp. Five. Are they all trapped? Oh, they are. That's fine. Uh, let's just walk out of here. I might reuse this dungeon. The canal ditch thing, all the oozes, is just a neat idea. Very flavorful. I might use this in um, a D&D &D game. Yeah. I wonder if we could have just jumped out that window. free. Just like that. And we're getting close to an hour, but I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna double record today. We got it pretty early, so it's, uh, it's not too late in the day IRL. There we go. Guess we didn't even have that quest. But we need to go back. Uh, not the arena. Definitely not. 
to turn this quest down. Ugh. Missed by 30 minutes. Well, we have to reset today anyway. See, it's only one gold now. Super cheap. And, uh, it is still May. There we go. 5,000 more. Perfect. Uh, let's offload this trash. And... I'm going to cut the recording, but I'm just going to pick up right where uh, we're leaving off. Just to keep these things at around an hour apiece. I was thinking just get more playtime, and so I don't have to do any editing because I don't want to edit. Oh, so this flute just... <sighs> I hate to just throw it on the floor, but I will. Okay, so uh, I am going to cut the recording, but we're going to be picking up immediately from where we're leaving off, so I will see everybody in like three seconds. <laughs>